There. I don't know if it's picking it up on that camera or not. There we go, right there in front of us there. Alright, it makes my whole day right there. I love seeing those guys out here. Hey guys, what is happening? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another exciting episode of Lost Horizon Fishing. First off, I apologize. I haven't done any videos for a while, but I am back. Now, unfortunately, in that opening clip, those three dolphins in front of my kayak, that was the only sea life I saw that whole day. It was just dead out there. I was on the water for about five hours, launched off of both the Chica State Beach and went down to the Little Reefs. And it was just dead as dead can be. No bites, no fish, no nothing, no nada. Zip, zero. Now, normally I would never subject you guys to a zero fish video, but I saw this clip on Instagram that was just epic. My friend Todd posted it, and basically it's a, uh, it's a clip of my buddy Steve in his Hobie Outback just charging some giant surf at the cliffs, which I normally refer to as Dog Beach in my videos. Before I roll that clip of Steve's epic ride, let's be honest, 99.9% .9 of kayak fishermen, including myself, we avoid riding waves when we're going back to the beach. Sure, you might get that occasional mush burger in the center section and ride that to the sand. But the actual set waves on the outside, we typically let those roll through. When the last set wave goes by, you come in right on the back of it and try to get in as cleanly as possible and with as little drama as possible. And that's for three reasons. Number one, you don't want to damage your kayak or your fishing gear especially if you're in an open kayak with your fishing gear exposed. Number two, you've been out fishing all day and you're hot and tired. And the last thing you want to do is go up on the beach all wet and sandy. And number three, this is probably the real reason. Let's say your fishing buddies are already up on the beach and now it's your turn. You're paddling through the surf. And if you go down in flames, they're going to be laughing hysterically at you as well as everybody else on the beach. You want to come back to the beach like a boss. You want to look like this guy. You don't ever want to look like this guy. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> thing before we roll that clip I wanted to thank my buddy Todd he was the one that posted this clip on Instagram and he was nice enough to send me the original footage also Todd's commentary was really colorful and really funny it's basically a surfer's perspective of a kayaker coming in through the surf and uh, Todd he's a longtime HB surfer he's probably surfed the cliff a thousand times and you can tell by his commentary he is very impressed with Steve's effort here. So without further ado, let's let it rip. Oh, the kayak out there, dude. What is this guy doing? Oh, oh my God! Clean up on the kayak. Are the dolphins? Oh, run, dude. This guy on the kayak, bro. He's got a fishing pole. No way. Oh my god, that's a kayak! What? Holy shit, that guy is charging, dude! He's got fishing poles! Oh, dude, capsized! Dude, capsized kayaker, bro! Did I even call that one? Look at this, dude! What the fuck? This guy is nuts, bro! He's getting back on board! Here comes another wave! Oh, hang on, buddy! Oh my 
go catch some sand bass, dude. Holy shit. Here he comes, dude, fishing poles. No fucking way, dude. <laughs> oh my god. It's savage, bro. Was that video epic or what? You know, the first time I met Steve was literally the first time I ever fished the little reefs off of Dog Beach. And since then, I've fished with him many times. I've had lunch with him, and we've talked about kayak fishing a lot. And one thing you'll notice when you watch that video is Steve is not using his paddle. He's on the pedal drive the entire time. Even when he's dropping down the face of that wave, if you zoom in on a video, you can see he's cranking on that pedal drive, trying to keep as much speed as possible. And the guy, he's one of the nicest guys you would ever meet. And you would be surprised to know that he is not a young guy. He's not as old as me. I mean, I hate to admit it, but I turned 70 a little over a week ago. So I'm now officially an old man. But, you know, Steve, he's probably, you know, late 50s, early 60s. And so it's so awesome to see him out there having fun. The guy likes riding waves on his outback every bit as much as he likes fishing. And just so it's so awesome to see him doing that. And Steve, if you're watching this video, you are the man and you are an absolute kayak fishing legend, my friend.